Adolescence Growing up is a natural process. Growth begins from the first day. Upon crossing age of 10 or 11, there is a sudden spurt in growth which becomes noticeable and the child is on the way to becoming an adult. The period of life when the body undergoes changes leading to reproductive maturity is called adolescence. These changes mark the onset of puberty. Adolescence begins around the age of 11 and lasts upon 18 or 19 years of age when a person attains reproductive maturity and becomes an adult. Changes at puberty Some noticeable changes at puberty are increase in height, change in body shape, voice change, increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands, development of sex organs, reaching mental and emotional maturity. Increase in height. During puberty, the long bones, that is, bones of the arms and legs, elongate and the height increases. By the age of 11, a boy reaches 81% of his probable full height and a girl reaches 88% of her full height. This shows that girls grow faster than boys and by about 18 years of age, both reach their maximum height. The rate of growth in height varies in different individuals. Some may grow suddenly at puberty and then slow down while others grow gradually. Height also depends on the genes inherited from parents. Height also depends on the food taken, so one must take right kind of food that helps bone, muscle and other parts of the body to get adequate growth. Changes in body shape in boys, the shoulders broaden and in girls, the region below the waist becomes wider. Voice change At puberty, the voice box or the larynx begins to grow. The growing voice box in boys can be seen as a protruding part of the throat called Adam's apple. Boys develop larger voice boxes. In girls, the larynx is hardly visible from the outside because of its small size. Girls have a high-pitched voice. Increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands. During puberty, the secretion of sweat glands and sebaceous glands, that is, oil glands, increases. Because the increased activity of these glands in the skin, the young people get acne and pimples on the face.
development of sex organs. At puberty, male sex organs like testes and penis develop completely and the testes begin to produce sperms. In girls, ovaries enlarge and eggs begin to mature. Also, ovaries start releasing mature eggs. Reaching mental, intellectual and emotional maturity. Adolescence is also a period of change in a person's way of thinking. Adolescents are more independent, self-conscious. It is often the time when the brain has the greatest capacity for learning and so the intellectual development takes place. Adolescent may feel insecure due to these changes but they understand that these changes are a natural part of growing up. Puberty ends when an adolescent reaches the reproduction maturity. Secondary Sexual Character The features that help to distinguish the male from the female, they are called secondary sexual characters. In girls, breasts begin to develop, hair grows under the arms and in the region above the thighs or the pubic region. In boys, begins to grow facial hair that is, moustaches and beard, begin to develop hair on the chest, under the arms and in the pubic region. Reproductive phase of life in humans. Adolescents become capable of reproduction when their testes and ovaries begin to produce gametes. In females, the reproductive phase of life begins at puberty, that is, 10 to 12 years of age. The ova begin to mature with the onset of puberty. One ovum matures and is released by one of the ovaries once in about 28 to 30 days. During this period, the wall of the uterus becomes thick so that it can support the egg in case it is fertilized and begins to develop. This results in pregnancy. Egg begins to divide and then gets embedded in the uterus for further development. If the fertilization does not occur, the released egg and the thickened lining of the uterus along with its blood vessels are shed off. This causes bleeding in women, which is called menstruation. Menstruation occurs once in about 28 to 30 days. The first menstrual flow begins at puberty and is called menarche. Menstrual cycle includes the maturation of egg, release of egg, thickening of uterine wall, 
breakdown of uterine wall if pregnancy does not occur. Menstrual cycle is controlled by hormones. Menstrual cycle stops at 45 to 50 years of age. Stoppage of menstruation is termed menopause. Hormones Who controls the change of adolescence? The changes which occur at adolescence are controlled by hormones. Hormones are chemical substances and are secretions from endocrine glands that are ductless glands. The hormones are released directly into the bloodstream. The endocrine glands in the human body are pituitary gland, thyroid gland, adrenal gland, pancreas, ovary in female and testes in male. Pituitary gland Pituitary gland is attached to brain. It secretes growth hormone, hormones that make other glands such as testes, ovaries, thyroids and adrenals secrete hormones. Thyroid gland Thyroid gland is situated in the throat. It secretes thyroxin. Insufficient production of thyroid causes goiter. Adrenals Adrenals produce adrenaline. It helps the body to adjust in stress when one is very angry or worked. Adrenal glands secretion also maintain correct balance of salt in blood. Pancreas Pancreas secretes insulin. Insufficient production of insulin causes diabetes. At the onset of puberty, testes release testosterone, male hormone that causes changes in boys in adolescence. Similarly, once puberty is reached in girls, ovaries begin to produce estrogen, the female hormone which makes the breasts develop. Milk secreting glands or mammary glands develop inside the breasts. Role of hormone in completing the life history of insects and frogs. In the life history of frog, larvae has to pass through various stages to become an adult. The transformation of larva into an adult through drastic changes is called metamorphosis. Metamorphosis in insects is controlled by insect hormones. In frog, metamorphosis is controlled by thyroxin, the hormone produced by thyroid. Production of thyroxin requires the presence of iodine of the water in which the tadpoles are growing does not contain sufficient iodine, the tadpoles cannot become adults.
these hormones stimulate changes in the body at the onset of puberty. Reproductive health Adolescence is a stage of rapid growth and development. So, one must take care of their nutritional needs, personal hygiene, physical exercise, say no to drugs. Nutritional needs of the adolescents. Adolescents must take the balanced diet that includes protein, carbohydrates, fats and vitamins in requisite proportions. Iron builds blood and so iron rich food such as leafy vegetables, jaggery, meat, citrus, amla are good for adolescents. But chips and packed or tin snacks do not have adequate nutritional value so should never replace regular meals. Personal Hygiene the sweat glands of adolescents are very active and give pungent smell. So, one must take bath daily. All parts of the body should be washed and cleaned or one will catch bacterial infection. Physical Exercise all young boys and girls should take walks, exercise and play outdoor games to keep fit and healthy. Say no to drug. Adolescents should never take drugs unless prescribed by the doctor. Why? Because drugs are addictive. If you take drug once, you feel like taking them again and again. They ruin health and happiness.